We want to let you see what's going on right there. This car that they're about to tow away right now, that is a car that they've been searching for for the last few hours. We all know driving in snow is one of these stresses of winter with the slippery, potentially dangerous conditions. But what about a car without a driver in the snow? To avoid tech neck, Pennington says you want to remind yourself to put your phone down, take a break from your device and adjust your posture. We're at the intersection of Gold Road and Riverview and you can see the Kalamazoo River has engulfed this entire street. Snow has been falling and yet we found 11 people in Lake Michigan. Requiring you to wow. use things you already yeah. have, your head, hands, elbows, knees, and feet. I want to give you a live look at Bronson Park in downtown Kalamazoo, where the first lunchtime live of the season is underway. Plenty of people gathered there right now. Now others took to their bikes yesterday to honor the five victims who were killed, who are remembered here by this memorial. Right now, fire crews are still working. They've been out here for three hours knocking down these flames, and they're still at it. Take a look. There actually used to be a second story on this house here. The water rushing from Thornapple River has reached new territory after the embankment failed. Uh, it's, it's amazing what Mother Nature can do with just some Russian water. Caught off guard and afraid. This is when training and a plan become your lifeline. Coast Guard members train and rescue as a team. But what can you do if you're stuck alone? You may be reaching for that extra Kleenex this morning. The sniffles and the sneezes. Now that spring has finally arrived, it's something many of us are dealing with. But could something as simple as a few changes to your diet help you combat seasonal allergies? When pollen counts are high, try to go blend. Join News Channel 3 live at 4.30 a.m. on both Monday and Tuesday morning. We'll be speaking with a local doctor about ways you can fight your spring allergies, both with the foods you eat and avoid. We'll have your spring allergy fighting menu in our two-part series, Food for Thought. Oh, so exciting. Is finding the perfect diet, perfect exercise plan for you as easy as click, spit, and submit? It only takes a few minutes, okay? Wendy personally wants to know. The mom and runner is helping us find out if DNA is the untapped holy grail of health and fitness. For collection of human DNA. We used what's called a DNA fit test, and taking it is almost foolproof. You need a computer, saliva, I don't know if I have this much saliva. And the kit. It looks like it really gives a good picture of what might be right for me. Let's hope so, because while these kits can range in price, this one costs $300. In return, the company DNA Fit, based in the UK, promises to decode your DNA, helping consumers like Wendy make better choices. Hi, Andrew. Head of product at DNA Fit, Andrew Steele, says genetics are just a piece of your personal well-being puzzle. The aim is really, if you can give people this reason to engage with their uh, health choices, their nutrition choices, and it's based on something very personal to them, which is their DNA, then we can hopefully give them a better environment to stick to that and sustain that and therefore get a better outcome in the long term. It sounds enticing and almost futuristic. But Dr. Dave Johnson, an integrative cardiologist, is skeptical. I think we're just in the infancy of understanding genetic regulation and, and things that we can do to influence our genes in a positive way. Dr. Johnson hasn't dealt with this particular test, but he's worked with one that's similar. In his experience, he says getting the information is great. Applying the suggestions, that's a different story. If the genetics isn't influencing what we put in our mouth, just by putting something on paper, then it's a overpriced test. A test that, after sent to a high-tech lab, takes six to ten weeks to get the results. 
When they do arrive, Steele says Wendy will get a training and nutrition program tailored to her specific needs. You can't change your genes, right? So you, you're born with those genes and you will die with those genes. And what we can do, however, is understand how they impact the advice you give or the advice you might follow. Wendy says she wants to be stronger, faster and overall healthier. So will DNA make the difference? I'm just uh, super excited, super excited to get the results. We'll soon find out. Hi, Wendy Persley. Great job today. You're awesome. Right now we're live in Calhoun County. Reporting live in Kalamazoo. Reporting live in Allegan County. Reporting live, Jason Poor for News Channel 3.